how you start. Let's start, try again. Start with what? Oh, didn't your mother teach you manners? What? Hi, I'm Lady of Entropy. I'm a puka. Uh, a what? A puka. Sure. And your name? I'm Terrified. Hi, Terrified. That's a funny name, Terrified. Can I call you Terry? What is this place? I don't know. Home? Toledo? Anyways, you want to do something? No, not if that's all that you have. But... Oh, come on, Terrified. Fight your nature. <sighs> Did the DM put you up to this? Who? The Dungeon Master. Oh, like this? Um. <laughs> no. Not like that. Oh, this. Yeah, that's the one. Oh. Then no. You're gonna be here a while, so we may as well find something to watch. Is that a trick? Where? Ah! This will do! You hate me, don't you? Why? I shouldn't complain. We'd be watching Master of Disguise, it'd be so much worse. Actually, I think I have that one. No, 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 You're the devil, aren't you? Where's your whimsy? And why are you comparing a children's classic to a teen flick? I don't think that film is for kids at all. Puts it in the same boat as Dude, actually, because neither one has any maturity, and yet they're both terrible for developing minds. Okay, smarty pants, I'm game. Let's compare them. Has that always been there? Been there the whole time, Terry. Do I not to fall in and don't stare at it too long? Because it stares back. Okay. Come on. All right. So, what exactly are we doing? It's starting. The following story is oh. based on actual Ooh. events. Yeah, I know. So, what'd you think? Thought has nothing to do with what I just went through. Well, why not? She... Wait, where are we now? We're in the void. What? You stare into the void, you enter the void. Right. We've been here some time now. You were literal. Huh. Did you see what I just saw? Been here the whole time? Then how did you miss it? Those made no sense! You'd think that after Manos, I'd be immune to stupidity. I suffered through Bushwhacked, Cabin Boy, and even a movie called The Stupids, but nothing prepared me for this double feature of slander against higher functions. It's a miracle of the worst kind. How did not one, but two films this dumb come to be? That's not the point if you- Who could like this mindless doggerel? How do you like this? Are you 12? Could have been once, and Dana Carvey is a genius, thank you. I've liked him then as I do now. You watched this as a child? Depends on your definition of child, but everyone did, so sure. How did parents allow this? It's cute, why can't you- Crib mobiles are made for entertaining children and cute. This? Measurements. Measurements? What for? It's for a uniform. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Um, is 35, 24, 34? <laughs> you said 34? <laughs> a little bottom. <laughs> right. I don't know who that was made for, but cute does not enter into the equation. You didn't have a good childhood, did you? What perplexes me more is why you double featured it with Dude, Where's My Car? To be fair, you're the one who made the comparison first, and second, both are quite funny. Dude, where's my car? Where's your car, dude? Dude, where's my car? Where's your car, dude? Dude, where's my car? Where's your car, dude? Dude, where's my car? <laughs> dude, where's your car? Stop that! Admit it. You'll be saying, dude, sweet, all day long. Just because it's repetitive and catchy doesn't make it good. Megan Trainer, example. That's a thing both movies have in common. They run their jokes into the ground, then pulverize them for good measure. All told, it's three hours of runtime with one dozen jokes to fill it. For instance, let's watch this guy <laughs> repeatedly interrupt himself. <laughs> repeatedly. <laughs> Ad nauseum. 
He's still doing it. He had a way more dignified role in Dude, Where's My Car? Although he was opposite Andy Dick, so there's not much competition there. You have a lot of repressed anger, don't you? Excuse me? You're lashing out at movies more than a decade old. They're far from the oldest I've tackled, trust me. But what's the point in wasting the energy? I mean, we're kind of stuck here. I've never wanted to be trapped reliving this crap that passes for entertainment. It's never been my choice. It's your choice to be the victim of it. I mean, has any of these two movies done anything in any way, shape, or form to make you miserable? Well... Do, 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 No. Stop that. They were, they were quite upbeat despite their plots. Master Disguise turns a hero blackmailed into villainous acts into something humorous to watch, despite stealing many historical artifacts worth millions or more. It's like a non-educational Carmen San Diego. When Dude Wears My Car finally reveals its plot, it turns a universal apocalypse into a low-tension green screen-a-thon with ludicrous but logical payoffs. See? Both knew what they were, and they owned it. Sign of good movie, right? A sign of a competent film. Passable and good are two separate categories. For instance, look how these protagonists develop over the films. Who's your daddy? <laughs> I'm your daddy. I'm your daddy. I'm your daddy. Good time. Now I'm ready. Just say. It's an honor. Who's your daddy? <laughs> Sir? Morning, guys. Morning, Morning Gene. Gene. Morning, guys. Morning, Gene. Did you notice something? That you skipped over the whole movie to show that. Neither characters developed at all. One was supposed to learn how to become a man, but instead got an inexplicable wife through the worst pickup lines committed to film. Your pep talk is transforming, my tiny butter bottom. I mean, Jennifer. You said tiny butter bottom. Did I, the future mother of my babies? I mean, Jennifer? You said future mother of my babies. Did I, fat cat mama with the red dress on? Yeah, that, that one was a little painful. But it gets worse. Ashton and Sean literally learn nothing from their entire adventure because their memories were wiped. When a movie does something like this, well, it's Men in Black, where one of the main characters, while having his memory wiped, has left an impact on the audience, an impression that something great was done. Their biggest accomplishment was undercut by its total lack of build-up and speedy conclusion. Okay, slow down there. Despite the moments of actual comedy and actual rewards for following these weird-ass plots, both films have major holes that- You look like a squirrel! What? Really? Got your attention! You're picking these apart. Have you actually thought of the big picture? Which is what? Did you enjoy them? Did they make you laugh? Despite myself, at times. So it's worth it, right? In the same way that daily viral videos are entertaining but unfulfilling and ultimately forgotten. I wasn't aiming for a masterpiece, just something to have fun with. These movies... They speak to the kid in us, the, the one part of us that still snickers at groin kicks and fart jokes. The part of you that you yourself have been denying. Why are you hounding me? I'm not denying anything! You know, that sounded a little defensive. More than a little. I'm sorry, it's just, I'm on a hair trigger with this. I've seen so much bad stuff that it's just reaction after a while. Almost instinct. You named you well, Terry. You're afraid of enjoyment. Actually, my name's Psycho. That's not that crazy. I mean, I knew a guy named Kayla. No, 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 no. My name is actually Psycho, as in psychology. And boy, do you need it, brother. What? what? Anywho, do you want to watch another movie? No, not, not right now. This place is very unsettling. How so? It, it creeps into your soul. Don't you feel that? It's this coldness. It's... You don't feel that at all, do you? Not particularly. Let's see, what are you? Styles, early 2000s, late 2000s? Uh, maybe a little 80s in there. Uh, no. Um, I'm, my outfit's fine. You're about fine. what, a size 42? No, not e What? Um, I know exactly how to make you more comfortable. No, no, no! <laughs> what do you say you were again? Oh, I'm a puka. Yeah, still lost. Schizophrenic psycho, yeah. Maybe I'm the one, maybe I'm the one who is the schizophrenic psycho.